representing Japan. So the final skater in this ladies' event, the young lady who caused quite a stir in her Grand Prix debut just a few weeks ago at Skate America, where she won the bronze medal. Just 17 years old, taking her first step into the senior ranks this season, and she already has two international medals now to show for it. She had a clean skate in her short program. Afterwards, she said, I just want to do the same exact thing in the free skate, and she'll have to do that if she wants to step up on that podium. Big combo here, triple lutz, triple toe. Very easy and very clean. You can see what a triple-triple gets you if you look up at your technical score box. With one element done, she already received 11 points. in this footwork sequence is when I really see that she's a rookie. This is her first year as a senior lady. A lot of her skating still comes across juniorish, And to compete with these other ladies, someone like Caitlin or Yelena or Ashley, she's got to step that up and, and quite quickly. And you see those arms just sticking straight out to the side where she doesn't have a movement already choreographed. jumps, double axle, triple toe loop. Major mistake there on the triple let's turn that into a single. The loss of points on that is extreme. Movie soundtracks like this from Cinderella can be really difficult when you don't have a leading lady or man on screen saying something really heartbreaking or lovely. When you use that on the ice, it kind of gets very empty. Unless you're a good enough actress to tell that whole story of Cinderella, it might be smarter for her to go with something a little bit more spicier with more flair already created into the story. Struggling there on the landing of Triple Loop. One thing that will hold up well for Mai is her technique. She's a natural jumper, a natural rotator. She has that raw talent that will sustain through seasons as she grows and runs into other obstacles. She has really ideal body type for great jumps, very similar to that of Midori Ito. Very compact, very great strong legs for jumps. It definitely bodes well for her technique. There were quite a few mistakes in this program, and you can see she knows that. It's very artistically anticlimactic. She needs those jumps if she's going to compete with the top ladies. But definitely, for her first season on the Grand Prix, so many bright spots for Mai Mihara. 
And guys, she said after Skate America that she needed to work on her stamina and still here, just a small error here and there creeping in as you got later into that program. It could be very costly. And this, the opening triple Lutz, triple toe. Watch that knee bend. Perfect second triple toe loop. That was even better than the Lutz. And here was the second triple Lutz where she turned it into a single, a loss of six points. Well, to say the future is bright for this young lady seems all too obvious. But take a look at these scores. It's 122.44, and there you see her youth show a little bit with her disappointment written all over her face. It is a fourth place finish in both the free skate and overall, but nonetheless still a season's best for the 17-year-old. A look now at the final standings from Grand Prix China, and it's Yelena Radionova who goes home with the gold. Caitlin Osman finishing second, and Ashley Wagner in sixth place, the worst finish of her Grand Prix career.